Have you seen a menu like this? See, it looks like a Starbucks menu. And hover over. And there are many texts here in this large container. And there are even images here. And look at this menu here, too. It's very beautiful, right? These are called Mega Menu. Hi, I'm Naomi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a Mega Menu without writing any code or without any payment. Yes, we can make this for free using Elementor and also the premium add-ons for Elementor, basically the plugin for Elementor. Yeah, and I'll show you how to do that. And let me introduce myself. I'm Naomi and I'm from Japan. So my English sometimes sucks. But in this channel, I'll show you how to make many things without writing code or sometimes some code, but very little. Anyway, let's get started. Well, you have to have this premium add-ons installed and also Elementor needs to be installed. You can just simply search in this WordPress plugin search and you can find it. All right, so what do we need? So, you know, the website, this one actually says Mega Menu Elementor widget, right? Widget. Okay, so I thought maybe if I make a new, let's say a page, you know, and maybe it's going to be canvas, edit with Elementor. Then I thought I'm going to find some kind of mega menu here. But uh, what I found was just premium nav menu. I'm like, okay, maybe this is it. So I put it here. I know it's kind of hard to see the color, but I don't see a mega menu option wherever I look. Yeah, I didn't find it here. So I was like, where is this setting? So how do I make actually the mega menu? The answer is you have to go to appearance and the menu. All right. And here I have this normal, you know, my sites menu here, right? But then when you hover over, maybe you already saw it, there's a premium menu button here. So let's say I want to add some mega menu to the about. Then you click this. Then here's a settings for, you know, enabling a mega menu. So of course you want to enable it. Then this, you click this, then Elementor editor shows up and you can start making your own mega menu here. So let's say, you know, as an example, just two columns. Uh, let's say like this and update. And you have to watch out that this is actually not the Elementor's like, you know, page. This is Elementor, but it's in the mod model. It's in the pop-up. So you have to close this pop-up. Then you have to save these settings. Okay, so we are back here. And I changed the color and saved and refreshed the page. So now you see this mega menu. See, it was very easy, right? But look, this is kind of too big. Right? If you want to make it slightly smaller or whatever the size you want, where you can change is here actually. Go back here and change the container width here, you know, menu content width, I mean. Then 700, save settings. And sometimes this part of saving is weird, so sometimes I just press save menu as well. Make sure if something is not right, try saving there too. Refresh the page. Then now it's smaller, I know. Then there are some other options I'll show you. So go back here, premium add-ons, I mean premium menu. Then here's the thing, menu container position is default and relative. So if I press relative, let's see where it goes. It goes to relative to the menu. See, it's coming. I mean, showing up from here. So if you have certain settings, you know, certain menu you should want to do this way, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go back to this default. All right, then refresh. Then what I want to show you is now let's make it vertical. See display options, it's a horizontal, so vertical. I mean, there are cool other options too, but these are not really a mega menu options. So. So now it shows up, but it's showing up 
really far, right? Well, then let's make this column smaller. So add a new column. Then like this. See, now it's too close and kind of weird. So why is this happening? So you go to this settings and go to style. So the problem is this width. So now I'm at uh, you know this uh, premium nav menus styles desktop menu style and width. This has some kind of default like a 45% or something. So click percent and change to 100. So now it shows up in here. Basically this is like takes up this whole space here. It's what it's telling. And if you go to content display option and there are this option sub menu positions left or right if you press left it shows up right below the menu if you press right it shows up here i know it's kind of weird because one moves down here and one moves up and right here so kind of you know it's not accurate this description but that's how it behaves so if you want to change the position, yeah, go ahead and do that. OK, so we came back here. And there are actually some more settings that I haven't explained. So icon. So if icon it is a loading animation too. If you choose icon here, let's say this. And you save settings. Hopefully this will work. Refresh the page. So now there's a, you know, you see the little icon here. Yeah, or you can just put a text, say like a new, right? And actually the batch color, you have to change it, let's say to white. Save settings. Go back, refresh. So now, do you see it's kind of small, but it says new. Yeah, like this. And you can change the color. And I, I don't... Now, if you know Lodi animation, but the Lodi is this um, cool animation tool that you can add. I don't explain it here, but uh, yeah, if you want to add animation, you can add it here. And yeah, this widget itself has so many settings, but the mega menu part is just that. So you can make however you want, right? Because this part can be made as Elementor. So, what did you guys think? The premium add ons is free and you can even make this so please try it and if you have any questions or comment please leave it in this video and if you like this channel please subscribe thank you for watching